Uh, my name is Dr. Jerry Harris. I've been the advisor to the site here for 14 years. The Dinosaur Discovery Site is a natural history museum. Uh, we feature paleontological treasures that have been discovered in the area. So we have mostly what are considered trace fossils, uh, which are features in sedimentary rock that are made by animals in the act of behaving while they were alive 200 million years ago. Uh, we don't have much by way of archaeological stuff, uh, but we are a natural history museum that focuses strictly on the paleontology from the early Jurassic stuff at this site. The site was discovered in the year 2000 by Dr. Sheldon Johnson, who is an optometrist who lives here in town. Uh, he was leveling some property he had here in order to make it commercially available, but discovered a bunch of dinosaur tracks on the site instead. The museum serves uh, mostly an educational purpose. Uh, we, we are here to uh, educate people on the paleontology of this area, on uh, the nature of what dinosaurs were doing as they were living animals. Most natural history museums you go to that have dinosaur skeletons uh, are great attractions, but what you're looking at are the remains of dead animals. Here at this site, we have fossils that were made by living animals, and so we can interpret a lot about the dinosaur's behavior from the fossils we have here at the site. The museum was built directly over the track site itself. Uh, the, all the tracks that you see, all the fossils that you see here in our museum came right from this spot, and a number of them are actually still in place. Uh, and not many museums can say that. Most museums have fossils that came from a wide variety of other locations. Our fossils are from right here. Some of the main attractions of our museum, we have the world's largest track block, uh, which is a 26 and a half ton block that is covered with over 50 footprints. Uh, we have a crouching dinosaur trace, which is one of only about a dozen of those that are known anywhere in the world. And we have the world's largest collection of swimming dinosaur tracks. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a fossil preparation laboratory where uh, people can actually watch fossils in the process of being prepared. And we have a, a little dino park where kids can go out and play um, and, and actually sit on a model dinosaur and get their picture taken on it. Uh, we have an outdoor exhibit that we're constructing out there right now. So we have a, a beautifully stocked gift shop with very unique items uh, that you can't find at pretty much any other store. A walk through time so people can actually understand what fossils were like uh, time periods other than what we have represented here in the museum. So our site is here for both families and for dinosaur enthusiasts. Both of them coming through will get a, a highly educational experience that I don't think they can get at almost any other museum anywhere in the world, uh, where we're learning strictly about the fossil behaviors of animals rather than about the fossil animals themselves. Our museum puts the dinosaurs and their other animals that lived here at the time back into an actual context. They're not just static animals standing there. They actually uh, come alive because you can see exactly what they were doing here 200 million years ago. So anybody who wants that experience, anybody who wants that educational experience is going to love this museum.